Hello, this is Chemistry, the Central Science, 11th edition. We are in the chapter 3 into the, end of the chapter questions, number 33. Calculate the following quantities. The mass in grams of 0 0.105 moles of sucrose. Okay. Now, I went ahead and told you what the molar mass of each of these formula are. If you're not given it, then you have to take, for instance, in sucrose, there's 12 carbons. You would get the periodic table. You would find that carbon is 12.01. So you'd say 12 times 12.01. Find that. Hydrogen is 1.00794 times 22 equals. Oxygen is 15.9994 times 11 equals. Then add them up. And you'll get 342.3 3, grams for every mole. Okay, that's how you'd have to find it. In order to go from moles to grams, you have to go through the molar mass because the molar mass has grams and moles in it. So if you're given moles, you can go to grams. If you're given grams, you can go to moles. So in the case of A, I'm going from moles to grams. In the case of B, I'm going from grams to moles. In C, I'm going from moles to grams. In D, I'm going from moles to grams. So it doesn't matter what you're doing or where you're going, you always go through the molar mass, and the molar mass is simply that molecule added up. All of the masses of every element in it uh, added up, and that's the molar mass of the whole molecule. All right, so we're going to start with 0 0.105 moles. Now I've got moles, so I'm going to put mole on the bottom. Do you see that that's what this line means? That's divided by. So I'm going to put mole on the bottom. I'm going to put the grams together, 342.3 grams. Moles will cancel, so I'm going to multiply this number, 0 0.105 times 342.3 gives me 35.9415 grams. Okay, we've got three significant digits. So this will be 35.9 grams. Okay, do you see how you do it? Let's do the next one. We start with 143.5 grams. We're going to put grams on the bottom, and the number always goes with grams. So this is 189.36 grams per mole. See, so the mole can go on the bottom, and the grams number plus grams on the top, or... Vice versa, whatever you've got, you're trying to get rid of it. So in this case, I've got grams, so I'm going to put grams on the bottom so it'll cancel. In this case, going to moles, you divide by the molar mass. So 143.5 divided by 189.36 gives me 0.7578 moles. Okay. Uh, well, let's see, this is, this is five, this is five, I only have four, so I'm going to have to add a zero, so it'll be 0 0.75780 moles, because I, I started with five significant, I have to go to five, okay, what about C, alright, C, I only have two, so I'm going to have to round to two, so I have one, times 10 to the minus 6 moles. All right, so I'm going to put moles on the bottom. 46.0682 grams. Moles will cancel. 1.0 times 10 to the minus 6 times 46.0682 equals... I'm going to go ahead and put this in scientific notation since it's small. This will be 4.6 times 10 to the minus 5. And there's two significant digits there, so I went ahead and just rounded it to 2. 4.6 times 10 to the 5. And moles have canceled, so now I'm in grams. Last one. All right, we want the number of atoms in 0.4... 1 o moles of ammonia. All right. 
Well, if I have 0 0.410 moles of NH3, how many moles of N do I have? Okay. In every molecule, I've got one N per mole molecule. All right. So if I have one N per molecule, then I have 0.41 N moles of nitrogen. Okay. Just to ask you a question, how, how many moles of hydrogen would I have? If I have 0.41 moles of ammonia, I would have 0.41 times 3. Okay, I would have you know 1.2 moles of hydrogen, but I only have one nitrogen per mo molecule. So if I have 0.1 moles of molecules, I only have one per, so I have 0.41 moles of nitrogen. All right, do you see? Now I can go on and um, that means I've done wrong here. Uh, I believe it's 14. Let me look at it real quick. Nitrogen is 14.0067. Nitrogen equals 14.0067 grams per mole. All right, so I've got moles, so I'm going to put moles on the bottom, 14.0067 grams on the top. Okay, so I'm going to multiply this, 0.41 times 14.0067, and I'll have 5.7427 grams. Okay, I've got three significant digits, so it's going to be 5.74 grams. Okay. I hope that's making some sense to you. I'd sure ask you to do one if I had you with me. I uh, miss you all. I hope you're doing well, and I'll hope to see you before the end of school.